So welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut that. See, this is what happens when I try to do something, trying to say something edited. I, I mess up immediately. So this is going to be cut. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you something real cool that I found out and, and figured out this uh, weekend. And um, it has to do with something that you are probably familiar with already. And that is work OS. I'm sure you know that in version 12 of Laravel, uh, you have the option to include work OS as your logging screen, taking away all of the hassle of creating social authentication and user management out of your hands and just using that in um, as a service in work OS. And it's super simple. The moment you start, you, you create a new application in Laravel and you choose your flavor, uh, Inertia or Livewire or just Laravel, you also have the option to select which kind of authentication you want, the good old one or WorkOS. And again, this will work seamlessly with whatever flavor of uh, Laravel you choose. Now, what about native PHP? Recently, Native, it's another flavor that is gaining a lot of traction, a lot of attention. And if you have seen the Kitchen Sink app, you know that you can use WorkOS in a native environment. It actually opens a dedicated in-app web browser that allows you to socially log in. And then that tab closes and you, you are immediately taken back to your application and you are magically logged in. Now, I am going to show you how they do it, or, th or at least how I think they managed to do this in the Kitchen Sink app, at least my way or the way that I found out how to achieve it. And I want to share it with you. So first, I'm going to show you how it looks. If you have used the Kitchen Sink app, you have seen how this works. Then I'm going to show you the code that you generally have in a new application that you create using a starter kit and you choose WorkOS as your login um, or your authentic authentication method. And then I'm going to show you my approach. All right. So here I have the mobile application that I have, that I have created and uh, this is how it looks. It's just a plain Laravel application from scratch using Livewire as the starter kit in WorkOS. Now, if you click login, this is the Android version of the social uh, login tab. It's an in-app browser that handles the deep link of, uh, of a native PHP um, protocol so that it, the redirects happen without you worrying about it. It will be able to redirect the user from um, the signing page that is running on WorkOS and then take you back into your application and actually log you in. In this case, I'm going to use Google. I'm already logged in in Google, so there will be no log screen for me. And then voila, you are in your application. You are fully logged in. This information comes from uh, WorkOS and in turn from my Google profile. Then for the logout, you just simply click logout, takes you back to WorkOS, logs you out of the WorkOS session ID, and then takes you again back to your application. Whenever you choose to create a new application, a new Laravel application using a starter kit and also choosing to use WorkOS, this is the code that you get out of the box. You get three routes inside your routes auth.php, one for logging, one for authenticate, which is the route that is called back into your application or the, the redirect URL that you have to configure in WorkOS. And it is where the uh, user is taken to and then authenticated in your app using WorkOS authentication code, etc. You don't have to really worry about it just now. And then for the logout, again, all of these three routes are using form requests. You have an auth kit login request, an auth kit, auth kit authentication request, and then an auth kit logout request. 
the authentication, the login request is just returning a redirect response, which will take you to the login page in WorkOS. Basically, you are asking WorkOS for a URL that you can then log, uh, go to and log in. And then that URL is going to then redirect the user to the authenticate route. And in the authenticate route, you get a log, you get an authentication code and you use that to log the user into your application and basically create a session for him and store all of the data, all of the data from their profile. The auth logout request, all it's doing again is asking, it's asking for a URL where the user will be redirected after the logout and then actually killing the session in WorkOS and then just doing a redirect. Now, how does the code look inside of these classes? Let's go and take a look. So let's start with the login request. It has only one method, which is the redirect method, which returns a redirect response. All that is doing is using the WorkOS facade to configure your WorkOS environment. And then the user management class will actually go and request a URL, an authorization URL. It is going to get a URL for you to go and log in, but that URL also needs to know where it's go, where the user needs to go after the authentication is uh, complete on WorkOS. And that is the WorkOS redirect URL. We're going to see, touch on that in a minute. So you basically say, give me a URL. This is the redirect where you have to take the user back into once everything is done. You also need to pass a state uh, string, or it, which is basically just a random string of 20 characters. And you pass the provider, which is AuthKit, the uh, AuthKit API used in WorkOS. And that gives you a URL. And then you, what this is doing is just putting that state in the session and then checking if you are using Inertia or plain old Laravel or Livewire. If you are using Inertia, it's going to take you to that URL location, which again is the login page in WorkOS. All right, so that is the AuthKit login request, which is a plain old uh, form request from Laravel. Now, the next um, class that we are going to focus on is the logout. Uh, request, which is this one. We're not going to worry about the authentication request. These are the only two that need to be handled in a uh, native um, environment. So the logout request, again, is just returning a redirect response. Let's take a look at that code real quick. So in here, we are just getting an access token uh, from the session, which is uh, keyed by WorkOS access token. And then from WorkOS, we are going to decode that access token and we are going to get a WorkOS session. We are going to log out the user from the session using the auth card. We are going to invalidate the current session and then regenerate the, to the session token. Now, if we don't have any WorkOS session currently active, then we don't have to do anything else. Otherwise, we are going to get the logout URL which is where the user will go to invalidate the WorkOS session. And we again use the session, the user management, we request a logout URL and we pass the current WorkOS session ID. Once we get that, what we get in return um, is a, another URL where the, um, where the, basically we go to that URL and then WorkOS will take care of returning the user back to whatever location we choose in WorkOS to take the user back to once it is logged out. And again, we just check if we are using inertia or if we just need to do a plain old, plain old redirect in Lambda. So yeah, these are the two classes that you get by default with a WorkOS uh, authentication uh, out of the box with Laravel. Now, how do we make this work with native PHP? So this is the way that I found out to be working for me. If you have a better way, please let me know in the comments. And also if I'm doing something wrong or incorrect, also please let me know in the comments. 
So here is the same file. It is the auth.php file. And again, we have the login, the authenticate and the logout. And if you can see, I created my own login and logout requests class. You can do this easily by doing PHP artisan make a request and then give it a name. It's just a plain old form request from Laravel. Before we go into that code, you do need to uh, perform a couple of settings in WorkOS. Let me show you what I mean. So in WorkOS, you have your redirect uh, section here. In the developer section, you have redirects. If you go in here, before you start, you need to set two redirect URLs. The first one is the actual redirect URL where the user will be taken back once the authentication is complete. Um, if you are starting to use WorkOS, you probably don't have any of these. I have a few here and um, you can have more than one, but only one by default. And the way that you have to configure this is if you want to work with native PHP, you have to make sure that you prefix your URL with native PHP colon slash slash so that the redirect will know that it has to take you back into your mobile app. And that's it. You can use whatever URL you choose. In my case, I'm going to take the user back to the authenticate route, where, as you know, we are just taking that uh, user and then logging them into the Laravel application using the code that we get back from WorkOS. And then, the other route that you have to worry about is the logout redirect, which is a little bit down here, logout redirect. Again, you can choose whatever page you want to take the user back to once the logout is complete. In my case, I'm just taking them back to the home page. But the important part is that you also need to use native PHP colon slash slash. And that's all you need to do in WorkOS. Once you have that ready, how do we actually handle this uh, in WorkOS? I created two classes, authkit native login request, authkit native logout request. Basically, I just have one method and it's called authenticate. You don't have to do any redirects in this case. All you need to do is exactly the same thing that the previous class was doing, configure WorkOS, request a URL to take the user to the login page, pass in your redirect URL. By the way, this value has to be exactly the same as the one in, in WorkOS. You have to set this key, WorkOS redirect URL, and the value of that key has to be exactly this one. We pass that from the configuration. We set a random string as the state, we put that state in the session and the key part here is to use the browser facade from native mobile facades. If you use that and you call the auth method, this is the one that opens a specialized in-app uh, mobile view that is used specifically for mobile authentication. And what you do is you just pass the URL that you got back from WorkOS. And that is what causes the application to open that beautiful WorkOS uh, login tab and show you the login page from WorkOS. And thanks to that native PHP colon slash slash at the beginning of your redirect URL, as soon as that um, authentication is done, it looks like it's loading. And it did, all right. But okay, it's taking a little bit of time, but it kind of worked. It's just when it loads again, it's just dying. But you can see what I mean, right? Using browse, browser auth allows you to have that login page in your mobile application and allows that mobile page uh, to redirect the user back into your mobile app. Hazim, what's going on here? Why is the mobile running Laravel? because it's native PHP. It's Laravel running natively on iOS and Android. If you don't know about it, just go.
Google native PHP and you'll be surprised. PWA, no, native, natively. Native, native Android, native iOS. Running Laravel in the background with PHP. Cool, huh? Oh yeah, take a look, get in there. Native, nativephp.com. So once you're logged in, let's take a look at the logout page or the logout class that I created for native. It is very similar, again, to what the original class was doing. Again, I'm just getting an access token uh, from the session with this key and then creating a WorkOS uh, session object or array using either that access token or using WorkOS decode access token using this. And um, again, we log out the user using the auth guard. Uh, we invalidate the session, invalidate the token or regenerate the token rather. If we don't have any WorkOS session, I just do a redirect right away and return that. So from here, you can return no or a response. In this case, we're returning a redirect response so that the user goes back to the home page or whatever page you choose to take the user to. And if we have a WorkOS session, then again, we request that logout, logout URL from WorkOS, passing the WorkOS session ID. And again, we use the browser out method from native PHP, which again opens a dedicated in-app browser tab that is specialized for this kind of purpose. And we pass the logout URL. Now in that logout, U logout URL from WorkOS, they, all it's doing is invalidating the WorkOS session so that it knows that you are no longer logged in and then returning the logout URL or the logout redirect where you have to take the user back into once the application or the logout process has been taken care of. And because, if you remember, on WorkOS, we defined that logout redirect using native PHP colon slash slash, then that, it, that tab is intelligent enough to take the user back into your mobile app and take it into that um, route, which is in this case, again, is just the home page and that works like this you just click here click log out there wasn't a lo uh, there wasn't a work os session in this case let's see if we can create one oh there it is <laughs> it's just taking a while as you can see uh, there was a tab that was open and it did nothing awesome it actually logged me out but there is some memory problem here so pay no attention to that if you try it out then it should work perfectly for you, as it was for me. It's just a momentary issue that I have. So again, all you need to do is instead of redirecting the, the user, di instead of redirecting the user using the common response, all you need to make use of is the browser auth method. And that will take care of all of the magic of taking the user out and into your app to make authentication, to make social authentication possible in your native PHP projects.